Hey everyone, welcome back to A Daily Deal. This is the best time of the year type of daily deal. Christmas is coming, so I wanna get a jump on it while I can. I had created 35 Christmas journals. Now, mind you, uh, there's a few things I'll go over with you guys here. Not one is the same. I had so much fun doing this. They are one signature journals and um, they are around 45, 50 uh, pages and then some because there is a lot of items in each journal. Like I said, not one is the same. So this is the time where um, this is going to probably be one of two videos possibly because I'm going to be going through 35 journals. What's really cool about these journals is you can either keep them the way they are. I did not sew them in. That's the only thing I didn't do. I gave you two options. Either you can sew them in yourself or tie them in. And um, the reason why I did that, I was debating on whether just finish it off and sew it in. But what if you wanted to use this as, say, your December daily, or you want to make this as a gift for someone for Christmas, or you just want to pretty much personalize it the way you want? I left that option for you for each journal. I wanted it to be your own because so many people make journals and it's really cool and I think they do a beautiful job. But what if you wanted a certain thing different? This is the opportunity where you can do it. So I'm calling these um, Christmas journal kits because they are complete. They are totally there. Each kit will definitely have, you know, all the pieces you need either to tie it in, to sew it in, to embellish. Um, there is also in each one too, there will be, um, oh, there you go. There will be a whole different like ephemera pack as well. So there's plenty to add. Um, you could take away, add, what have you, but I have a feeling you're going to love the way they are. Um, what's really cool too is I'm making a big announcement today. Any daily deal that I do from today, very first daily deal, all the way to the end of the year, each daily deal will have a certificate. Um, well, I would say a gift. Any purchase, you get one of these envelopes. Um, this daily deal obviously has this one here with the wax seal. Each daily deal, the envelope might be different. It all depends. Any purchase you make from any daily deal, not in the shop, any daily deal I do, you'll be getting an envelope similar to this. And in each envelope is a code. And that code is good to use when you go into my shop and you're gonna purchase something. And it's a surprise gift. It could be from $5 all the way up to $25. I have a range of different type of codes in there. Also, there's a secret code in there for a very free, that's the best way I could put it, very free. That's hilarious. There is one gift that is out in the middle of all these because I've done all these type of envelopes, already pre-done the codes, so they're all out there ready to go. So when I grab an envelope, it's random whenever I put it into a package kind of thing. So <clears throat> all codes are done, but one code is for a free sew machine. So that is one of my exciting news. You guys know I love giving away the sew machines. It's the Brothers Project Runaway, one of my favorites. I'll put a link down below. You guys could check out the type of sew machine it's going to be. But anyone who purchases a daily deal, any daily deal from now all the way until the end of the year, like I said, someone possibly can get that sew machine. So I'm excited to see who actually gets that. But either way, my friends, since today's daily deal is only $25, yes, a complete journal for $25, that's one awesome gift for you guys, is a great price. And they're all 10 ounces in weight. So whenever you purchase one international or US, it's going to be rather cheap. I think it's like between $3.50. Um, I think depending on say if you're California it might be a little bit more you uh so yes I'm excited it's a win-win in all directions but this is a new thing I'm doing and I can't wait so any purchase of a daily deal an awesome coupon code that is you'll be surprised so like when you do a checkout um in the shop whatever you put in your shopping cart kind of thing <clears throat> during the checkout spot you put that code that you'll see that's inside your envelope there and pop it'll pop up and show you you know what that code's good for so it's kind of like a surprise um and a surprise kind of thing so i hope you guys love that daily deal option i had something i wanted to try something new and to make it exciting we'll put it this way see if you got a coupon code for 25 dollars, you pretty much got the journal for free right so even if it's five dollars you got the journal for 20 bucks i mean it's it's all good i don't know anyone can actually get a journal for 20 bucks that it has at least a uh, 20 uh sorry at least it has almost 45 to 50 pages in it so it's a great deal i can't wait to share with you guys so i'm gonna go one by one here like i said i had 35 and i designed these all by myself 
These are all from pages and pieces from an amazing uh, Norman Rockwell, huge book that I got uh, for Christmas. <clears throat> and I sewn on and I did all the different sewing details of each and inside their pockets and stuff like that. Um, the, like I said, the signature is already set up and designed with all kinds of things inside. Um, like I said here, look at it. It's just absolutely beautiful. No matter which one you're going to see here, each one is different. So you're going to probably want to write down <clears throat> which one you like. Um, if you are interested in any of these journals for the daily deal, down below will be a direct link to the shop. When you click on that link, it's going to open up a, a window to the shop and there's going to be a tab just for daily deals. Click on daily deals and in there will be each and every one of these journals. I made a listing for individually each one of these journals, just in case, because I didn't want to do a drop down menu and you'd be like, oh goodness, which one is it? At least when you go to the listing, you'll see the front of each and every one of these journals and you're like, oh, I wanted that Santa one. Oh, I wanted the girls, um, the joy. Oh, I want the sleigh ride, because this is one's really adorable too. It's one of my favorites. But um, all right guys, this is the moment where I'm gonna put these aside and show you exactly what each journal looks like. Again, I've been working for months on these and I've been really wanting to share with you guys these and tell you all about it and do videos of me sewing them together. But I was afraid to just release it yet. I just wanted to have them all done to say, ha ha, look it, I got them all done for you guys. So I'm excited. All right, let me go ahead and get these journals ready for you guys. Okay, here we go. I hope this is not too, too far away. Here's the very first one. This is a Santa journal like this. And um, pretty much as you can see here, I took a really cool paper uh, clipping from one of the uh, Norman Rockwell um, books that I had. And then I took two pieces of really heavyweight cardstock paper and I created a journal cover. As you can see here, isn't that adorable? and I had zigzag stitched around each and every one of these journals. Um, so you, I'm just gonna tell you about that first. So I don't have to tell that to you to every journal that I share with you guys. This one in particular, I just did a zigzag stitch obviously around the photo. I think most of them have a zigzag stitch around each photo. This one has like a button layered. These are two really cool retro vintage buttons and I thought it looked really well with this. And um, inside this journal here is, um, obviously you can see a different card stock as well. Most of them I had put a library card in the very first pocket when you open it up. But in this one I didn't only because um, it gives you like I have all the embellishment and pieces inside one of the uh, ephemera packs here for you guys. You can design it the way you want. But this journal here, this is the one I designed, is pretty much Santa themed. It's totally like a retro. Uh, Santa as you can see here and of course Santa is the very first picture in the signature this one here I had sewn in a pocket each book as you can see here will have a mini little journal in it and as you can see here this one I did all coffee dyed papers some of them have like comic book pieces in there and things like that this one is all just the dark coffee dyed papers I think it's like 25 pages in each one to where you can design it any way you want I did sew it in with the sew machine um, for it, but it looked so perfectly in this pocket because Look at it looks like Santa's doing the naughty or nice list. and I thought that looked good there, but in each journal uh, That you get you get a little book like that Some are Christmas trees or some are either just all adorable same size and everything But um, this is the only journal that I put in a pocket just to give you guys an idea if you when you do your own journal You could possibly do that yourself um, but in each pack uh, you'll just have that journal like inside that pack to design it any way you want. Since I have this up here, I can share with you guys too. Each pack will have a little bead pack that has glass beads, three different buttons, one will be gold, green, and red. And in there too is this little card I have here. It has whatever you need for the string to tie it in or to sew in. I have this beautiful like, um, what do you call that? Uh, I have to open up. I forgot the name of it. It's that snow white um, yarn that's twisted that looks really good around some of the journals if you wanted to tie the journal together. And then um, eyelash trim, that is the green. And then there you have two like beaded swatches like boho, but in the Christmas colors of red and green. And then this here too, which I can open it up. Matter of fact, I just, just open it up 
I figure at least this will be the first time I open it up and then the rest, um, I won't open up each and every one of them kind of thing. As you can see this one here is the glass beads and the buttons and things like that too if you want to add to it. Here's that card I'm telling you about. Each one will have all those different trims and pieces on it for you. And then two swatches, like I said, green and red. This here came from one of our dear friends, Kathy Cowell. It is the perfect size if, say, you wanted to add it into a signature. You know, if you want to put it in the book kind of thing to like a flip page. Or if you want to sew it in as pockets. But it was this beautiful lacy trim that had different homes and houses. And it was snowy white. So thank you, Kathy. Um, so I put a piece just like this in each one that fits the same size. I think they're like... 18 inches or something like that. I'm not sure. Either way, it's perfect for putting in your journal or sewing in your journal. So that's what the little little tiny packet here looks like for finishing off your journal kind of thing for you. But I had to put a little pocket to show you at least for the Santa one. But in the book, as you can see the Santa book here, what you see here is exactly what you're getting. So when you go to the listing, you'll see that journal, only $25, which is crazy cheap. And um, like I said, you get that certificate in there as well to get a free little code to know what you got for the next time. So I'm just going to flip through here to show you an idea. The whole theme of every journal has the papers in the same, like I did an assembly line. So it's pretty much going to be similar or the same, but each book is designed um, differently when it comes to how I added little things to it, such as like different little corner pieces here if you wanted to add... Let's see here, let me grab a card. If you wanted to add something in there, kind of thing like a tuck. Um, some little old stamps I have kind of thing. Coffee dye papers that I've done. This is really cool, which I'm gonna show you once because they're in every journal, is this page. When you unpaper clip this one here, unpaper clip, <laughs> there's a tab you have there, but it is a really large envelope. And I did this because what if it's like, say letters to Santa kind of thing? And um, each one will have an envelope, which you'll see around a piece of paper here that you can use as a letter to Santa kind of thing if you wanted to for whoever the journal's for, if it's for you. It's just really cute little like stationary pack put together right there for you inside the journal uh, just in case if you wanted to use it for that. But then some uh, computer paper that looked really, really well with it. Some more paper on the opposite side. Just little pieces that you could design it the way you want. The paper bags if you wanted to add little pieces and thing. This one here has got the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer music paper. Grid paper. More coffee dye papers for me. I did put on there um, pieces from old tags, uh, vintage tags and things like that from Christmas time. And then of course Norman Rockwell. This is like I think the very first page in that book. I thought it looked really good in this one since it was a Santa book. More things. I, a lot of things you'll see here. <clears throat> I paper clip because you can move it around and change it the way you want it. I just had fun. To be quite honest with you, I had so much fun. Like there's the Santa stamp. Just designing each and every one of them. I was so close just to tie them in. I'm like, why am I tying them in? You know, I just let you design and move the papers the way you want them. Each one of these slides are really, really cool. What's really neat, I wonder if I can show you here. It's upside down. I wonder if the camera will show you. I don't know if you guys could see this. Each and every one is a picture of a 1970s Christmas. This is a little boy. I don't know if you can't see it, but for me, I can see it. It's a little boy under the tree opening up gifts, and it's totally retro. Uh, really cool. So every kit um, has a retro one. Here's a bag if you wanted to use it for something. How to be Santa Claus. Isn't that cool? And then just I, I this one here I sewed it in just to give you an example of what you can do. Some more inventory paper, copy dye paper, and then of course the signature keeps going on to the opposite side. That's the opposite end of that bag, which you can open up. Um, this was really cool. I've been learning so many things that you guys do, kind of thing, and uh, it was fun. I was like so close just to finishing it, it off, kind of thing. Okay, so plenty of space and room to make it your own. Let's go to the next journal really quick. 
Okay, here's another adorable one. It's like a child's Christmas, totally retro. Isn't that adorable? There's so many journals. I didn't always went through all the journals as retro or vintage, that kind of Christmas. There's modern ones coming up as well. So just hang on. Like I said, this is the book two of 35. As you can see, I did stitch in all the beautiful pieces, kept it really simple and sweet, even the border of the book. This one here, as you can see, this is like most of the rest of them, like I have coming up here, do have a pocket here in the front that has a coffee dyed uh, library card that I put together. Um, and then you can put it right in there, design this any way you want. I uh, obviously you can see I sewn it in and then you got the cute little blue chip little stamp there. All right, so next, this here on out, I'm gonna go a little bit faster, but what you see here is exactly what this book kit is. The reason why I'm going through each and every one of them, because they're all so different. I had so much fun with it, isn't that adorable? Had so much fun. This one here has the vintage receipt, along with, like I said, the slide that is vintage Christmas. Copy dyed paper. You guys are gonna see a routine pattern of how I put these together. But you can see here how they're all yet a little different, especially the paper old toy trains. Isn't that cool? Look at the, the different music notes and everything on that one. Just going to slide around. A lot of them have a vintage Christmas postcard in each. Some don't. It all depends on what I added to each one of them kind of thing. As you can see here. Um, let's see here. Some more Christmas paper, note papers. This came, I think, Erin Klossner. I think she had a, a live sale and I got these really cool vintage placemats from her. And I put them in there as well. Thank you, Erin. Uh, coffee dye papers for me. Oh, cool. This here. Most of them have this um, vintage children's dictionary pages in here. Um, let me think here. Uh, oh, my goodness. My brain just went blank. Cheryl Wellen, who is a good friend of ours, who does a lot of journaling and selling of the uh, paparazzi jewelry. She had given me these dictionary this two of these children's dictionary books and I I ripped them up for a lot right away after I seen the colors of the pages and the, the they're really nice and thick um, just adorable so I used them up really good this one says why can't Christmas just be Christmas music paper um, what's really cool about the Norman Rockwell book they had all kinds of things about articles about Christmas how to make like this one here hard rock candy papers in here Christmas stories and stuff like that a lot of paper to uh, do a lot of journaling and making them your own. As you can see, they're kind of flopping around a little. And most journals too, in the middle signature has the paper doily. The very first one didn't because that was the very first one I did. Um, but wouldn't that be cool once you tie it in? Uh, looks really good with that copy dyed paper. It just pops right out. And as you can see, here's the other pages on the opposite side kind of thing. So there you have it for that journal. Let's go to the next one really quick. Okay, this one here is one of my favorites. I loved it because it reminded me of a vintage sleigh ride. And the, the lovely girl is adorable. I actually cut her out of a newspaper magazine and then I put it onto this, like I said, this cardstock paper here. But isn't that lovely? Isn't she just beautiful? I wanted to keep this one. But as you can see, I did the stitch work between the two different cardstock papers and I glued on this Sleigh Ride free Coca-Cola wooden thing here. And uh, inside, it's just beautiful. Every bit of it was just gorgeous. I had so much fun designing. I sewn around all the little corner pockets. This was like some kind of stationary paper. Of course, a copy dyed uh, library card. But I just had fun because don't you think you think of a Sleigh Ride? And then you have the Christmas trees, the very first thing you see here when they're putting up the town's Christmas tree. And here you guys are gonna see the routine of things, but yet different as well. So you can see here, there's that there, the card, you got the envelope. Again, each one's different. This one had the, the different postcard in there. Had to put in a vintage to Victorian lady. It looked really good, the sleigh ride. Um, paper that I had looked really good. Newspaper and got some dictionary paper. This co uh, coffee dye paper I did on the grid blue paper turned out really good. It looked like snow to me. It looked like snow. Is that paper again? Again, each one is like 45 to 50 papers different um, and then not counting the different little added things I put in there. Um, for the papers as well. There's that copy dyed thing and I'll just kind of flip through on the opposite side to show you a few things. 
All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Of course, like I said, every pack comes with a little ephemera pack as well. Let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, this one here I call Joy. It is is beautiful. I loved it, and especially because that wooden plaque says Joy. But look at the beautiful kids. Isn't that adorable? I fell in love with this one, too. I guess I just love the retro vintage kind of look um, myself. This one here has the music paper on the inside um, of the cover. Again, the, these are really, really thick. So like I said, I put two of the really thick cardstock papers together, sewn them together, and on top of it, you have this music paper, which is cool. And this here, of course, I had to throw like a snowy picture in there because I thought they're playing in the snow. And then we'll continue on here. Like I said, as the journals go on, they will all look so different, their own thing. The wonderful merry-go-round. I thought, I was thinking children. This one here has like the snowman type of paper. fold this up here. This one here has this postcard in there. It's going to be hard to take it off, but you kind of have an idea. I feel like I'm all over the place right now. Now when I did some comical type of comics. Paper, paper. No, that one cool. That was inside that dictionary book as well. It was just cool. It was called the Pixie Dictionary by Elizabeth Clemens. I kept the original paper in this one. Like the first paper. It was just gorgeous. As you can see here, I think you guys are getting the idea of the routine of the signatures. Signature, I should say. That's the middle. And you can see the opposite side. Oh, that was a cute page. The children. It was totally children themed. Who knows? These would be awesome gifts, I think. The price is amazing. And I had so much fun putting them together. There's so many favorites that I want to say, oh, that's my favorite. This is my favorite, but <laughs> they're all so beautiful. Let me go to the next one. Okay, this one's called Mary and Bright. I had sewn in Mr. Santa here, but isn't he gorgeous? I love the candy stripe paper and uh, the Mary Bright. Now, as far as the paper where I got this, I got it from an estate sale, so I don't know the name of the design or anything. They were just kind of loose in a bin, and I just kind of put them together the way I had, you know, whatever I found, and I made them, you know, my own, because I can't give credit to whatever design paper this is. I have no clue. I found these really cool, like, uh, stars. You remember the lesson stars? I've been putting them on these car uh, library cards, as well as you can see stitched on a Merry Christmas thing where you can personalize that if you want to. Isn't that cool though, where it starts off with stories. Again, you can make it your own. And this one says A Christmas Carol. Again, another one of those cool slides, vintage receipt in there. I just wanted to create it to where at least I gave you an idea of how you want it. Um, I, I just made it my own. <laughs> then you can kind of move it around the way you want it kind of thing. That's the cool thing. Look at that vintage postcard. I used a lot of my really old Christmas ones. Paper, note paper, dictionary, more of my coffee dye papers I did. Again, a lot to work with. Bugle Blues, uh, Susie's Letters to Santa. And there's some of these have a really cool different uh, paper doily on the inside of them as well. And you can tell the paper in this one's different as well. As you can see the difference on the opposite side. Let me go ahead and go to the next one, guys. Okay, this one here reminds me of a celebration. Absolutely love this one. I put this really cool gold, I think it almost reminds me of like a jester's type of crown. It's really cool. This is like a jester doing music. So this book was pretty much designed with the uh, musical theme of Christmas. And uh, you'll see, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And inside here, you can see it says celebration, which I could totally see this being very, very festive. You can see I use music paper for the pocket for this one. And then this one, it says feast of Christmas. Of course, this here comes down here. More little pocket things to play with. Christmas tree says Merry Christmas, uh, 10 pieces. You can see the theme. A lot of music in this one that I absolutely love, like Oh Come All You Faithful. Look at the cool little Christmas stamp I put on there. Very festive, very colorful, very musical for this one. Totally had so much fun. Look at there, the Rosetta Christmas tree. 
how to make one. These are like a how to make projects for children's kind of book pages. Old vintage postcard in there. You can see them caroling. This is just a different like a ticket. Like I said, the um, uh, the uh, the ephemera pack has a bunch of goodies to use as well. That kind of the bead pack and stuff like that. I'm kind of curious on what the doily is on the inside of this one. I had some with like poinsettias and things like that coming up. Some of them, I don't know which ones I kind of forgot. Um, this one's the white doily. I see a paper clip, but I'm not sure why. Oh, it looks like we put in like the, cube, uh, the receipt on that end. More paper. Which you kind of see on the rest of the signature. There you guys have the musical Fiesta one, uh, Season's Greetings. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here is one of my favorites. Um, like, there's so many of them, I can't really <laughs> But this one I really wanted to keep as well uh, because it is vintage. It's called Joyful Noel. And on the top here, you can see I put some vintage uh, shell buttons here that are like Mother of Pearl and then more of like the purples and blues. And I, I put a little... Um, twine in there and I had sewn this paper in here onto this cardstock and it's just like a Victorian mother and child reading stories kind of thing and inside as you can see the theme I did was vintage children but isn't that beautiful oh that is just precious little baby with her little ball and stuff like that so this one has like a double pocket this one here has this card that comes out of course I put some vintage things in there like a little vintage uh, stamp things like that but I'll continue on as you can see it's going to be a more of a child theme gifts look at that beautiful postcard just beautiful I just had fun some old time Christmas slide of course this one here has that kind of paper I kept with more like the Victorian theme kind of thing going and this says when Christmas morning is dawning music paper yeah, this tag comes off and you can make it your own. You can see that, that kind of tag in a lot of them to where you, it's either it's on them or you can. Look how that cool Victorian Christmas. Music paper, paper and dictionary paper. This one here says writing. It's like a Victorian uh, music sheet there. Kind of curious. I'm, one of these, I know, I mean, I had a, like, I think eight or 12 of those. Look at that one. I love that little candle. See how you, you never know. This is music paper folded in half. And I just kind of put that little corner pocket thingy there. And then the middle signature has the white doily. Just curious if there's anything else I added on the other side. I just had fun playing around with them. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Okay, here's this one. This is another lovely child, and I loved this paper. It's one of the papers I absolutely loved, and I stitched with the green zigzag stitch around her, but she's holding this bouquet of flowers, so I figured I would do little child's uh, bouquet Christmas kind of thing, like Victorian flowers and stuff on the inside, and that's what I did. I had some old vintage postcards and that were kind of messed up, and I made a pocket out of this one, as you can see, and um, I backed the back of this paper with some music paper and sewn it in like that to make it kind of different, Victorian-ish. Um, like with some roses and flowers. Same thing here, vintage postcard that kind of was broken up, but I kind of used it in with this. But look at that lovely child. Yeah, it was just fun. There's the other side of that vintage postcard. I flipped it over and just kind of stapled it down. But this is going to have, like you said, each one's so different. I had fun layering these tags and things like that to where it was just different different pieces you're going to find that the next journals are just kind of switch up it depends on what day i was playing with them kind of thing this one here i think has a vintage bingo card coming up different like different playing cards and stuff like that that one says family but yeah it's just beautiful and that cool this one here look at that one with the children there this one's got another bag where you can add stuff in this one has the vintage bingo card inside of it kids papers yeah, can you see I just had fun playing around with certain ones? <laughs> and then you could do the rest with whatever you want to do. This one says, Speak Softly, Love, which is gorgeous. I have a feeling this is going to be more than one video, I'm telling you. 
Okay, so there is that one there. It's like my vintage child bouquet of flowers kind of journal. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here is the vintage Noel one. I have two different journals. There's this one and another one. I can do the next one that's like this one here in a little bit. But it has this kind of same kind of cardstock paper. As you can see here, it is so beautiful. Let me pick that out of there really quick. And here is that uh, yarn trim I told you about in case you want to wrap it around and tie it in with the journal. It's that beautiful yarn you can see here. Don't you think that'd be pretty to tie that journal in with that one, like a little tie kind of thing? Reminds me of snow. Um, this one's Noelle. I just did the little paper layering with the music sheets and stuff like that. This one has like the belly band pocket inside um, that has like the card and of course I folded some music paper in there um, like that. But here is the signature. And again, you can make it the way you want it. I just had fun with it. <clears throat> Norman Rockwell has the most beautiful, colorful pages in his vintage book. I just loved it. I had to use it up. This one has the bingo card just stuck on the side. Just kind of giving you ideas. You can move things around, make it your own. Absolutely gorgeous. This one here has the little birdies uh, vintage postcard in there, which is gorgeous. I don't want to take it out. I'm doing this one-handedly. can see how I did that. One of these times I'm telling you, you're going to see the, the paper doily in, in them that has the different poinsettias. There you go. There's popping through on that one. There's that. You can see one side. This one looks like it's going to have two paper doilies in it. And this one, this is the music, Do You Hear What I Hear? Festive guy. Different art project page. And then there's the white doily. I don't know why he's there when he's supposed to be right in the middle of that one. There you guys have it. And then who knows? There's just the other side of that signature for you guys. But isn't that paper just absolutely lovely? Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. So let's go to the next one. Here's the second point set at Christmas cover. This one says let it snow with like a wooden piece here. This one in here has a total different pocket. As you can see, it has a vintage postcard, of course, as like I said, the other ones as a pocket. And I just kind of put like a pretty little thing there on it because it had some stuff messed up on it. And I put the library card in there for you to personalize it any way you want. Some vintage stamps and things, but isn't that gorgeous? I love the paper. It's just, it all just went really well together. I did the border, this one in red, zigzag stitch. It's just gorgeous. Different things that you can see I'm doing differently on some of these. What I did is I just kind of had fun. My husband, when he was watching TV, I would just put the different like little things together in it. Look at this postcard. Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> that Christmas. That's totally what Christmas is like at the end with everything thrown around in every direction. This one here is really cool. It's How to Be Santa article. It was really cool. Yeah, so much to work with. Again, like I said, I'm taking my time through it because there's another one of those points set of doilies. Uh, because I wanted, if you're getting this journal, you know what kind of pages you're getting. Like I said, and each one is different, but yet similar, as you can see, in each. And there's the signature middle. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. There's plenty more to show you, so. Okay, guys, here's this one. I have 26 more to show you guys. So I think there's going to be video two. So this is video one of two because I don't know how long I should do one video just in case. This one here is a joyful Noel. As you can see, the beautiful Santa uh, reaching down to hug the little child tiptoed. It's just adorable. I cut the little, uh, little uh, threads pieces long. If you want to cut them, you can do that. And inside here is the signature. Let me get them on in there. Again, I'm so glad I didn't tie them in, because what if you wanted it differently? You know, who knows? This one here has the vintage postcard here as well. It's just kind of like breaking up, but it's still, you could tell it's, it's Christmas themed. And then I put a little tag in there, like you can use as you wish. It's the North Pole. It's like a silver. And then, of course, the uh, library card. At the top of this one, I layered a couple like vintage stamps. And then I made a little cute tab. It's just totally adorable. Like I said, each one is so different in its own way. Of course, you got a lot of similar papers. Just kind of had fun mixing and matching. 
doing its own thing. I'm kind of curious that at that point set a doily in there, isn't that gorgeous? Like that paper, it's in this. I wish I had the book cover. I know one of these books, I had the book cover, like dust jacket, and one of the journals. Here's a, another bag, poinsettia, in, in one of the journals. Look here. Here is the, uh, like those little mini journals that are in each book. Here's the comic book that I have here. I think it was Archie. And the pages have some little comic pages like this in it, which is really cool. This one, I just folded it in half and put it right in there just for fun might want to use it for something who knows this one says the Christmas tree in Brooklyn again loose paper just kind of threw it in there and let you figure out how you want it kind of thing gorgeous isn't it just absolutely there's the other side of that poinsettia all right guys let's go on to the next one guys we have so many more Okay guys, I'm gonna show you this one and then video two, I'm gonna go faster. The video two, I'm just gonna show you the front of the journals and then I'm gonna show you the inside of the journal and the first picture that you'll see kind of thing inside the journal and maybe I might just go a little bit further and just kind of flip through a few more pages but I think you can kind of have an idea of what the insides are gonna be like for each journal kind of thing. All right, so this one here is the only religious themed one that I have. Um, not too many people want religious theme, but this one is, this is an angel. It's more like an angelic kind of journal. This one doesn't have the pocket in the front, but I figured you can make it the way you want it. Um, but all the pieces for that is in there. It's just right inside the little uh, ephemera pack that you get here. But as you can see here, there's an angels. Of course, I did the, the photo slide here is of a, the outdoor like Christmas ornaments that they have in the yard and stuff like that. It's really cool with the snow. It's really cute. But um, it's more religious thing, especially with the Christmas music too. It is an uh, angel in a manger kind of thing, uh, Christmas themed kind of journal. And it has the vintage postcard. And I imagine the signature is going to have I think the white one, the white snow. Yeah, there you have it. All right, guys, so go on to video two. Um, all the information is down below or a pop-up will come up to show you where video two is. All right, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to A Daily Deal Part 2, the very first video. I kind of went slow this video. It's going to be much faster. I'm pretty much going to show you what journals are available um, that uh, the inside cover. They're pretty much similar to the signature, but uh, kind of get the idea. If you're watching this one first, you might want to stop and uh, go down below is a link to watch the very first video of what The Daily Deal is all about. But I'll quickly throw it out there just in case uh, The Daily Deal is only $25 for a pretty much complete journal. Signatures already ready. All you have to do is sew it in. The reason why is because you can create it and make it your own if you want to change up the pages, what have you, but they're all cut, ready to go. I made them my own and I imagine you can rearrange them the way you want to kind of thing. And um, each cover is made, ready to go. So all you have to do, if you're interested in any of these journals here on out, down below is the shop link. Just click on that link. It'll take you straight to the shop. There's going to be a, a big, huge tab that says Daily Deal. Click on Daily Deal, and each and every one of these journals are going to be shown in the video uh, that are in this video will be shown on that listing. All you have to do is click on the one you want and throw it in your shopping cart. Again, all the details is going to be uh, in video one. So if you want to know all the other details and all the extra goodies and gift with purchase and things like that, it will all be in there. This one here is another Santa one. This one here has got the darker backdrop. This one's called Happy Holidays. I sewn these in, like I said, with the other videos, uh, other video. But look how cool Santa is. Isn't that gorgeous? And in there, of course, this is the, um, the different holder I got for this one here. I love the striped paper on the inside of this one. It just went really well uh, with this journal. I thought it just looked really cute together. I'm just going to flip through a few of the pages and then move on to the next one because I know that there's a few things different in this one than the others. This is rocking around the Christmas tree. I thought it looked really cool with the Christmas tree there. And then um, this one has that postcard right there. And I think I put in here some of the comic strip. Yeah, so you can kind of see. All right, guys, there's that one there, Mr. Santa with the black backdrop. Let's go on to the next one really quick. Okay, guys, this one's called Joy. I have two covers that are very similar to the same, but the insides are different. One's called Joy, one's called Merry Bright. 
But what's really cool about this, so you can see I saw it around the, the whole thing, Joy. And look at here, if you open up the whole book backing, you can see the um, the whole scene kind of thing. It's really cute. Looks like my tag fell out of there. Um, and then inside of this one here, it has the North Pole little tag there. It's got the library card. Um, and then it has this Santa. So this one here is called Joy. This is the signature on the inside of this one. Kind of flip through really quick. This one here. And that is the postcard you get into this one. The opposite one, let's see here really quick. It's similar but different, of course. This one here is Merry and Bright. And inside, of course, the, um, the library card is similar to the other one. But this one here is the little boy in the packages. And it says Merry Christmas. I'm trying to think there's anything different in this one compared to the other one. But um, maybe some of how I designed the pages kind of thing. But this one has that postcard in it kind of thing. So there you have. They're very similar but different in their own way. Joy or Merry Bright. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here is Sparkle. I'm just now getting my bag. I didn't do it last time, but I'll do it this time. Each one, as you can see, I have two covers that are very same, uh, similar, sorry, but the only difference is the button on the top of the tree. This here, as you can see, I sewn around a Christmas tree, and then I put a cute little vintage button on top. And I call this Sparkle because it says Sparkle and Shine on the, in on the card right there. This inside of this one has the music paper and, of course, a vintage uh, postcard. I did like a, an embroidery piece here that is a beaded applique embroidered piece. And of course I thought sparkle, sparkle and shine, and then a vintage postcard. You can see the different things I put in there. This one's got the vintage Christmas tree, totally sparkle pretty much kind of thing. You kind of see the theme is about the, the way it is. This one, about the similar to the rest of them kind of thing. Let's go to the next sparkle one really quick. This sparkle book here has this button. As you can see, it's a little bit different. What's cool about this button, when I did the glue, it the glue came out and it looks like it's I, like it's sparkling because it has that gold backdrop. Turned out really cool kind of thing. The inside of this one doesn't have the music paper like the other one. So when you go to listing, make sure when you click on the listing to know which one you're getting, the photo of the outside and the inside is in each listing. So you don't get them mixed up. You kind of know which one is which when you get them. Say if you wanted the one with the music paper, there's the one with the music paper. This one here has like more of a comic type of um, paper on inside of that one. And then the signature for this one is this here with the little girl and this here just says Holly Jolly. I just kind of put that in there kind of thing. And this one's got the bingo card into the pocket. Um, so there you guys have it. That is the Sparkle and Shine books. Like I said, don't forget to when you go to the listing to make sure you see which one photos is the one you actually want. Okay, as you can see here, I have two of the Merry Christmas. This one here, I sewn around, of course, the tag and the journal cover as, it's, as it is. As you can see, there's similar ones here. Like I said last time, you need to make sure when you look at the listing to see which one is the, the inside that you want, as you can see. I'm going to show the two different ones here. This one here is going to have this vintage postcard. Isn't that gorgeous? I just thought it looked so well with that. It just turned out really good. This one has the rose one. Just so pretty. It turned out really good. Now the signature on the inside of this one here, as you can see, is I love that zigzag paper. You got the little boy and the guy. I'm trying to think. This one's got the vintage bingo card inside this one as well. And then you have the vintage postcard. Look at that one. It's like a letter with uh, flowers popping out of it kind of thing. So there's that one for Merry Christmas. And then this Merry Christmas one here has this signature. So when you open it up, it's going to look like that in the listing photo, guys. <clears throat> this one here, I don't know if this one's got a bingo card or, in it or not. But it has the birds type of postcard in there. It's got this poinsettia bag. I think anything different. Oh, this one's got the poinsettia doily as well and the white doily if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so that's the difference between the two of those guys. Let's go ahead to the next journal. Okay, guys, I have two of these. As you can see, it says Merry Christmas. It has like writing and stuff like that and a Santa right here at the bottom and it's got the tag at the top. This one here, like I said, when you go to listing, make sure you look at the second photo to see what the inside of the one that you want. 
One has the music corner tab. The other one's going to have a vintage postcard here, which was kind of broken. And I kind of just sewn around it and made it cute the way it is. Um, so there's down now. It's got like music in the background. So this Santa one here, let's get that signature out for you and ready. You see, you got the embellishment pack there for uh, ephemera. <clears throat> Again, you can see how I had so much fun. Of course, Santa. So it has the Santa theme on the inside. When I just got the bingo card on this one. Yeah, you can see it's all different but similar. But awesome gift, don't you guys think? I know I did some fun with some tabs in this one kind of thing. My first Christmas tree kind of thing. All right, it's got this bag here and that one kind of thing. All right, so there's that Santa book. This Santa book here. Okay, here you go, guys. This is the one that has the um, actual book dust cover of the journal, the journal, of the book that I used to make all these pages and all these books. It's right there, the Saturday Evening Post Christmas uh, two volume in one treasury book. It was so cool. Here's the back of it. Is that, and then I kept the price tag on this one. So you guys, I just thought it was cute. I didn't want to remove the price tag. It was just cute. Um, and it's a little bit thicker too, which is awesome. This one here, kind of see, they're pretty much similar, the two books. This one has that vintage postcard. Kind of an idea has that doily. All right, guys, so you guys kind of have an idea on Mr. Santa Christmas here. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, this one's called Merry and Bright. This one's totally children. I would say if this is a journal for children, sure, but definitely boys, because how often do you have a boy journal, right? Usually you don't have too many of them. This one's called Joy. I put a vintage snowflake button at the top, and it's sewn in the choir boys kind of thing. And the inside, as you can see, so cute. Wait till you see Look at here. Got the vintage Santa stamp. I did some blue chip thing there. You can tell I had a little fun with this one, guys. Um, I love that paper. Boys writing down on a sled. Of course, this here is a little boy opening up gifts slide. It says Tommy's letters. As you guys kind of see, it had it more like a boy themed. Got the bingo card. It's just the postcard that's in with this one here, as you can see course a boy paper type of saws and tools and such yeah two little boys arguing over Christmas stuff it's like a Christmas story about boys you know not being nice they're being naughty kind of thing <clears throat> there's that paper from Aaron Klostner's live sale and the people I mentioned in my videos I will put the links down below there's another music paper look at that and that's so cool Totally a boy's book, guys. Totally a boy's book. I'm in love with that. I love the back side of that paper, too. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Of course, you can see the little pack that comes with it with all the little extras and things like that. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here's another child's book. Well, if you want to consider it a child's book, I say adults are just fine as well. But you can see it's a little girl here. I had sewn her in, but look at her. Doesn't she think she's all that? <laughs> thought it was gorgeous. It all looks so well together. It's almost like this paper was made for it. But um, so it's the little girl here mailing a letter to Santa kind of thing. Put some music paper back there. Kind of layered the tab with some music paper. Um, as you can see, I just, I don't know, I just had fun trying to add it together, making its own little girl paper. It says the Virginia, there is a Santa. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa. Stories about that. Point set up bag, bingo card. As you can see here, I'm sure there's a vintage postcard here. There we go. And I'm wondering what kind of it's got an angel page. If it has, you see it's little children again. It was just so much fun, guys. I, I the Christmas gift. And then that there is that. But isn't she darling? I just absolutely love the colors where it's not too crazy Christmassy popping out at you, but it's definitely elegant. I love Norman Rockwell. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, this one here I call the English Christmas because it's more uh, subtle and it's more like an English Christmas. And I kind of did some like, you know, the um, <laughs> a boho little piece there. But then on top of there, I don't know if you guys can see it, is a vintage shell button, like a mother of pearl. And I put a little eyelash trim through it and then sewn around the English kind of Santa right there for you guys. Loving the bunny there at the bottom. Sewn around the edges. Of course, the first paper I put there was called an, an old time English Christmas. But you can make it your own. Of course, I put a little bling there. 
Uh, I just thought it looked really cute. And of course, a little more bling on the inside if you're wanting that. But adorable. Again, similar, but uh, very different in its own way, guys. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. It's a good music sheet. Of course, this tab, I put like an old like Christmas uh, tag on top of that tab with a bingo card. Family. I just kind of threw that in there. You can move it any way you want it. Just kind of giving you ideas. An old English time kind of Christmas kind of book. There you guys have it. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, this one's one of my favorites as well. This one is, of course, more like caroling for those who like a caroling type of Christmas. This is Let It Snow with a little vintage snowflake button there at the top. It's got a little sparkly, a little bit on the modern side, which the modern ones are coming up here in a second, guys. I kept it. I took it all the clipping out of a book, and it's just quite gorgeous. And inside, as you can see here, is very festive and very caroling. It's going to have a lot of caroling music in it. Um, and uh, same here. <laughs> this came out of the same book. It was just adorable. Um, so things to do. I think here the music I have in this one. This one has the most wonderful time of the year, which that's what I'm naming the series that I put together for you guys. Um, there's the uh, vintage postcard that's inside that one. Of course, caroling pages for children. Tags, dancing, totally like a caroling type of postcard. Let's see, what are the other music I have? A lot of music in this one, I know that for sure. All right, guys, so there's the caroling one. Absolutely gorgeous and adorable. Totally in love with that one. It's one I thought I might cut, but I didn't. <laughs> That's for you guys, so let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, I have 10 more. Oh, my goodness, I'm telling you, I told you I had a lot. I had like, I spent a month or so doing this. I sewn in this really cool Santa, which I thought he's adorable, isn't he? totally makes you want to just you know okay be quiet he's there don't tell nobody <laughs> i had fun with it and here's the back side has like the sparkly type of this is adorable this one i put holly jolly and then of course threw in some things there this has the deck the halls music paper on the inside and then of course the old time christmas as if santa sees going from house to house so i thought you know christmas page all the houses kind of thing that is part of the inside of that book cover sleeve which was really cool it's a bit thicker in the papers and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I know we got the uh, the poinsettia type of that I'm trying to see what other papers we have here that's different anything different the fir tree get some tabs get some like ticket things so there you have it. There is Mr. Santa coming to town kind of book. Let's go on to the next one. This one here is actually quite adorable. This one here is obviously you can see some hollies like, you know, what's Christmas without it? So season greetings, very simple, very, very sweet, but very elegant. Um, this one here, I put this uh, vintage postcard there and I kind of put the thing that said Mary Bright right on top. There's some music paper layering in here. There's like papers inside this thing to use and do as you please. Um, but I absolutely fall in love with Mr. The Postman um, with all the packages in his bundle there. And this says Merry Christmas tab. I'm trying to think what else. You got that poinsettia doily in there. I'm trying to think what all the extras might be in this one. We got that cute postcard in there. Trying to see here anything different just different tabs these things here i've been adding things to it they a lot of your your uh ephemera packs will have items like this i just kind of in this journal i just kind of threw it in there kind of thing so you just kind of make it your own but all the papers are cut and ready to go that is like the awesome part of it all i know those who make journals that is um one of the things you do you have to do i'm learning that as well but wouldn't it be so pretty like some of these have like a charm in there that you can, when you tie in your signature, you just tie in that little charm as well. But this is a very cute holly Christmas. All right, guys, let's go on to the modern ones. 
Okay, as you guys can see, I have two of these kind of covers, exactly the same, but again, they're going to be different on the inside. So this is where you're going to remember the inside that you want. So when you go to the listing, make sure you check out both photos so you know exactly which one is the one you want. It's called Merry and Bright. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I stitched all this stuff on here. I made this cover it's the way it is. It wasn't made this way. I just, it looks like it was, but it wasn't. I did all this stitch work, put all these pieces on here. Um, to make it look how bold and bright, merry and bright it is. And inside here, on this one here, as you can see, it has, this is the inside with the um, music page here with the little elf kind of person. And then the inside of this one, which put the little thing in here, is this here. It's going to have this music page with this, as you can see, I had stitched along here this little tag and left little tassel thingies but that's the difference between the two so you kind of have an idea say which one you want you'll know which one you want kind of thing I don't think you're, gonna, you're not going to go wrong either way so uh, but this one here is this one here is like the of course Christmas festive I'm trying to think what's here it says Johanna Christmas star what may be doing it says God rest you merry gentlemen this one has that postcard there that cute little tab one of these days music sheet um, so there's that one there and then this one here has like more of the Victorian ladies kind of merry and bright a um, little more and look at that bold I don't know if you guys can see that gold so rich color I call it modern because of that just because of that mm, different pages I have here of course you can see I just had fun just doing it the way I do it what child is this music she is in that one I'm trying to see what postcard okay so that one has that postcard and then there's the signature the kind of doily it's the white one all right guys so there's that one like more of the victorian ladies i know i just seen another victorian lady page in there there she is i knew she was in there there she is she's right after that isn't she pretty so it says Mary and Bright on this one, but it's like more the Victorian ladies one. And this one here is more of the retro Mary and Bright kind of book for you guys. All right, guys, let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, this one here, of course, like I said, it's very bright. It's got Christmas trees and gold. It's called Merry Christmas. As you can see, I have two, but again, the insides are different. So you want to make sure you know which one you like when you check the listing. I sound redundant, but I just want you not to forget. Um, this one here, the inside is going to have this one here. It's like an old time Christmas tree uh, piece here sewn in. And this one here will have the, the music sheet one where it's got like the music sheet with the star kind of inside for that one. So going to the first one, this Merry Christmas one, of course you said bold in colors. You can see you got your little pieces here, however you want to do it. Um, again, I sewn all these pieces. As you can see, some of the threads are kind of loose, but look how gold and bold and just like rich, rich colors different than the retro colors that you've seen with the other ones. Uh, the coming of three Kings, and so silent night for the music page inside this one more music and then the postcards you get in this one is that one look at that Isn't that pretty this one was fun this one says it says christmas with royal uh royalty more music and there you guys have it that's that christmas one this one here is more of the, I would say, like old time Christmas when it comes to Victorian-ish. Of course, see the neck heat. I just love the colors, how this came really well with that. Where you see the bold, but yeah, it simmers it down to where it's so elegant. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm proud. I'm actually really seriously proud of all that I did here. I know I sound like... <laughs> patting myself on the back here but I did a lot of work you know and it was so much fun now I can see where this can get so addicting to where you want to just keep going and going and I'm that close to just if I just tied it in it'd be done but again I wanted to give you guys options and choices to where if you want to look at that cell phone snowflakes how to kind of page 
make it your own. It's just, that's the best part of it all, that I'm glad I didn't finish them off kind of thing. All right, guys, I have, let me see here. I have two more sets, and then we are done. Okay, guys, these are Noel. Again, you see how beautiful and shiny and beautiful that is? Totally elegant. Again, I sewn on all these different pieces that we got going on here. Of course, I have two of them again. Again, don't forget when you check out that listing, which one you want. This one here has the music page pocket, as you can see. And then this one here will have the music page with the girl. Look how cute she is. And there's probably a reason why I did it. You'll see why because of the signature that's in there with that. Um, you'll see why. Looks like I did more like a modern on one and then more like a Victorian-ish on the other kind of thing for you guys. So you can kind of, you get the two different choices, be at the same kind of cover kind of thing. Say if you got two different ones uh, for two different family members, be at they're different in their own way kind of thing. But uh, of course, this is more retro, modern, Christmas kind of thing. Cool, really slide again. And let's see here. Yeah, like more retro, modern. Look at that music page with the holly. How cute is that? This one here uh, says, God rest you merry gentlemen music page. That's the postcard that's inside that one. S uh, sweet mitts and sugar, sorry, sweet meats and sugar plums. Kind of thing. I think here, more music pages. Is there anything different that I'm aware of? Nope. So there is that one there. This one here, like I said, is more. You can see here. Put her on in. As you can see why I picked that cute, lovely girl to go with that. I just thought it just really went really well together. Again, I had so much fun doing this. So much fun. What was the Christmas star? Of course, I did the Christmas star there. Uh, I'm trying to think here. There's that. Okay, so uh, Cheryl Wellen, who gave me that book, the dictionary book. This is the cover right there. The Pixie dictionary cover inside. And I left the kid's name in there. I imagine you can erase that with the eraser if you want to. But isn't that gorgeous? I just thought it was cute. And that's the vintage postcard that you get in that one. Plus, I added some pieces to it that you can move and take away. Kept the Victorian theme um, of it kind of thing. You kind of see how I did it. Really thick music paper. So there are the two different Noels. Again, don't forget to check the listing to see the second photo to know the one that you want, guys. I have one more set, and then I am done. All right, this is the last book uh, set that I do have. Oh, it's erratic because this is what I'm calling uh, this book series I put together for you guys. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And seriously, it is because what I love about it is that it's the, it's giving. You guys know I probably say that so much you get kind of tired of it. It's the gift that keeps giving. And so by me doing this, making affordable journals for you guys and kind of helping you with ideas on how to put one together, it's kind of like I'm helping you and giving you guys a great deal. And then you're giving this to someone else. So it's like the gift that keeps giving. And then just top it off, you got that secret code that you get in each one to where you can use it towards any other products that you want or need for your next crafty project. So yes, the gift that keeps giving. And it is the most wonderful time of the year. And too bad we can't do this more than just once a year. Um, anywho, so there's two of these. Again, this one here has this pocket on the inside so you can determine and then whoopsie sorry guys I better put the signature in so this one has this signature so when you look at the photo in a listing this is what this one is gonna look like in the first photo and in the second photo when you choose the one you want i have and this one here i layered not only like this the vintage stamp but the blue chip a uh, coupon but then one of those um uh fortune cards i put there on music sheet kind of thing um, the second book, when you open up the listing, this is the one you're going to see here. This one's going to say Joy. Um, it's got the vintage stamp there, and it's going to have the lovely lady in the window kind of thing, which we'll go over her in a second. But they're pretty much, you can see, lovely ladies. Most wonderful time of the year. I could really see sitting by the fireplace thinking about all those things. It'd be an awesome journal for, like, memories, moments, those kind of things. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see what I got going on here. Kept it really elegant. As you can see, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It almost reminds me of she is in that cottage, that woman right there who's sitting by the fireplace. That's why I did that. <laughs> okay, guys, so I think you kind of have an idea. Look at that page. I love that page. The calendar. Okay, so there's that one. 
And then this one here, of course, another lovely lady. I think I've gotten you guys through this so fast. I'm surprised that <laughs> you're still here this far. Thank you. Um, I hope you grab the one you want. Um, I'm excited. This one here has that postcard. Look at the beautiful birds. Isn't that gorgeous? I just thought it looked really good together. Lovely lady. Beautiful birds. Ladies talking in the corner, gossiping. <laughs> Gossip time. Anywho. All right, guys. So now you guys kind of have an idea. Christmas with the White here. House gifts that you can make. Hope you guys like them. I hope you love what I put together and all that I put together. It was a lot of love put into these and um, a great price. So I hope you guys love this daily deal. Grab yours while you can. Um, until next time, guys, you have a great one.